Alright, Shalom, Shalom. Like to start off by giving all the glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Bakak Wadash, Double Honor, see the orders and apostles, the great no stone. We're out here prophesying to the so called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans and the downfall of America, Babylon the Great. We are in the revitalized Roman Empire. We're out here prophesying to the so called black, Hispanic, Native Americans. After 2,000 years, the Holy Bible being revealed in its entirety. So we're out here to wake up our people. Wake them up out of this wicked world. America, Babylon the Great has prophesied in the Holy Bible. America, Babylon the Great is built off the bloodshed of the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans by the so-called white man, the devil that the Bible speaks of. So this is what's coming to America, Babylon great, as we call out a remnant of our people out of this wicked world. You have World War III coming. Martial law, FEMA camps, the RFID chip. This is what's coming to America, Babylon great. This place is going to be thrown down in one hour. John the Apostle, the Revelator, saw this vision where he prophesied to the 12 tribes of Israel, so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, that they are the Israelites that the Bible speaks of. We give the double honors to the elders and apostles, great male stuff. So we're prophesying to the 12 tribes of Israel, the tribe of Judah, so-called African Americans, tribe of Benjamin, so-called West Indians, tribe of Levi, so-called Asians, tribe of Simeon, so-called Dominicans, the tribe of Zebulon, from Guatemala to Panama, the tribe of Ephraim, so-called Puerto Ricans, the tribe of Manasseh, so-called Cubans, the tribe of Gad, North American Indians, the tribe of Reuben, Seminole Indians, the tribe of Naphtali, from Argentina to Chile, the tribe of Asher, Colombia to Uruguay, and the tribe of Escar, the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, the Most High God, and His name is Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai is who you call Jesus Christ. He is the Savior of the nation of Israel. And this will ultimately happen in the midst of World War III. You're going to have a great famine coming to America, Babylon, the Great. You're going to have one house made in another for the lack of water and the lack of bread. This is what's coming to this wicked kingdom. Why? Because the wicked are ruling this earth. The so-called white man, the Edomites, the devil that the Bible speaks of. So two-thirds of our people will take the RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast. This is prophesied in the Holy Bible. And these things will come to pass in these latter days. The Most High God, Yahweh, is going to set up the kingdom of heaven on earth. You other nations are going to captivity as well as the so-called white man. Why? Because he shed the blood, the blood of Christ, which is a tribe of Judah, so-called African Americans, as well as the three North Southern Kingdom tribes, the Benjamites, the Levites, the Simeonites. These are those that were brought in the transatlantic slave trade, which is why they're called African Americans. Black is a color. Brown is a color. We are Israelites. We have things commanded unto us. The law, statutes, and commandments. Belief in the Mashiach Yahweh Shai. You're supposed to make your supplication to the Father, Yahweh. God is a title. You're supposed to make your supplication unto the East, Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai. This is what our people have not been taught. Why? Because Psalm chapter 83 speaks about a conspiracy, so-called white man, the Arabs, the Chinese, the Japanese, the Africans. They're not the same as our Negro brothers. These are two different types of people. We are Israelites. Most High God is calling back his elect out of this wicked kingdom. Right before he gets burnt up by nuclear fire. This is John. Isaiah chapter 12, verse 2. Behold, God is mine. 
salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. For the Lord, Yahweh, is my strength and my song. He also has become my salvation. So his name is Yahweh, not Jehovah, not Yehovah, Yahuwah. His name is Yahweh. Ba'ashim Yahushai. Ba'ashim means in the name. We're prophesying in the name of Amashiach Yahushai. We call Jesus Christ. His name is not Yeshua. Joshua. Jesus. These are all transliterations. The ancient Hebrew says that his name is Yahushai. Amashayat. Meaning he is the anointed. So it says, Isaiah 12 and 3. Therefore, with joy shall you draw out, water out of the wells of salvation. How did that start? With the Holy Scriptures. You're supposed to know the prophecies of the Holy Bible. Revelation 1 and 3 says, Blessed is he that readeth and understandeth the words of these prophecies. This is what we're out prophesying. The downfall of America, Babylon the Great. Two thirds of our people taken the mark of the beast, which is the RFID chip. Many being destroyed in Armageddon, which is World War III. So these are the things that are coming to America, Babylon the Great. Isaiah 12 and 4. And in that day shall you say, Praise the Lord, call upon his name, declare his doings among the people. Make mention that his name is exalted. So we're declaring the things of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, his works, his counsels that he will make come to pass in these days as he sets up the kingdom of heaven, which is for the Israelites. So the majority of our people have been deceived by the so-called white man's philosophy, which is why they're following the strange religion, Christianity, Catholicism. These are contrary to the Holy Scriptures. The Holy Bible says that the law is good if used lawfully. It speaks about the great whore that sitteth upon many waters. This is America, Babylon the Great. As the scriptures say, Jacob have I loved, Esau have I hated. This is just talking about the sons of Jacob of the 12 tribes of Israel. The so called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, the wicked on the earth. It is the Edomites. Esau came out red like a hairy garment. This is Jacob's twin brother. This is what the Holy Bible is about. The prophecy. Salvation unto the elect. You other nations are going into slavery. This is so-called white man. You're going into hardcore slavery. But the most high God is not dealing with all nations of the earth. He's dealing with his chosen people. Started with the elect, the house of David, which consists of a remnant of these 12 tribes. This is the book of John, chapter 4, verse 10. Yahweh Shai answered and said unto her, If thou knewest the gift of God, and who it is that saith to thee, Give me to drink, thou wouldst have asked of him, and he would have given thee living water. What is that talking about? The Holy Scriptures, the volume of the book, the 100% truth. Which is why in the book of Isaiah it says to draw out the waters of salvation. This starts with this word, understanding the parables, the similitudes, the examples written for our understanding today. John 4 and 11, the woman say unto him, Sir, thou hast nothing to draw with, and the well is deep. From whence then hast thou that living water? Are thou greater than our father Jacob, 
which gave us the wealth, and drank the wealth himself, and his children, and his cattle. Yahushai answered and said unto her, Whosoever drinketh of this water shall thirst again, but whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give to him shall never thirst, but the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up into everlasting life. It's talking about the words of light to you so-called black, Hispanic, Native Americans. Knowing your customs, your language. Spanish is the language of the oppressor. English is the language of the oppressor. You're supposed to know the ancient Hebrew, the high holy days. You're supposed to flee out of the shadow of this world. America, Babylon, great, which is nothing but paganism. This is what our people are caught up in. The Apostle Paul said that they have a zeal of God, but not according to knowledge. Says Isaiah 11 and 1. So you have Yahweh Shai Mashiach, who you call Jesus Christ. He spoke unto the Samaritan woman, which was not an Israelite. So you have some people that look like us. Some of us look like other nations. They are Israelites. Because the scriptures say we have mingled ourselves amongst the people. Which is why the scriptures say you got to try the spirit by the spirit. You're supposed to be in this word and meditate on it every day. Seek the prophecies of the Most High God. Seek Him while He still may be found. Right before the day of death, destruction, which is coming for an America, Babylon the Great. With the RFID chip being mandated throughout the whole earth. Then you're going to have Armageddon which is World War III. You're gonna have FIFA camps, martial law. These are the things that are coming upon America, Babylon the Great. He's supposed to seek the words of the Most High God, Yahweh, while he still may be found. Isaiah 11 and 1, there shall come forth a rod out of the stem of Jesse, and the branch shall grow out of his roots. And the Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the Spirit of wisdom and understanding, the Spirit of counsel and might, the Spirit of knowledge, and of the fear of the Lord shall make him of quick understanding in the fear of Yahweh. He shall not judge after the sight of his eyes, neither reprove after the hearing of his ears, but with righteousness, righteousness shall he judge the poor and reprove with equity for the meek of the earth. He shall smite the earth with the rod of his mouth, with the breath of his lips. Shall he slay the wicked? It's talking about Hamashiach Yahushai, who you call Jesus Christ, returning as an angelic power to cut off two thirds of our people as the chariots descend from the heavens to deliver the elect of the nation of Israel. So the majority of our people have been blinded into following so-called white man's philosophies. Most High God is going to destroy you in Armageddon, FEMA camps. Why? Because the so-called white man knows that he has but a short time to implement this new world order, which will not come to pass. So we're not going to be out here forever warning our people. And these other camps are not warning you about what's coming to America, Babylon the Great. ISUPK, IUIC, Sakari. These other camps are not telling you to call upon Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. They're not telling you to seek the prophecies of the Most High God. This group called One Body, Yahweh Shai, they say that that's all we speak about World War, World War III, destruction. This is what the Bible says. This is not what we think. We're telling you, thus saith the Holy Bible. And the prophets never came in peace. We came to prophesy against many nations and kingdoms like it was in the days of old. So we're not prophesying peace. Neither are we prophesying according to our mind. We're telling you, thus saith the Holy Bible. Whether you believe it or not. 
So this is what's coming. You're going to have a famine of the world. We're not going to be out here forever warning our people. Because all hell is going to break loose eventually. And, and many will be slain of the Lord. The scriptures say, Yahweh Shai, Amashiach, who you call Jesus Christ. Psalms 1 and 10 says, He will wound the head over many nations. So it says, Isaiah 11 and 4, But with righteousness shall he judge the poor, and reprove with equity for the meek of the earth. He shall smite the earth with the wine of his mouth, and with the breath of his lips shall we slay the wicked. He's talking about Amashiach Yahushai, and we come in the name of Amashiach Yahushai. So we've been given the spirit of understanding, like it says, in Isaiah 11 and 1. Why? Because Amashiach Yahushai had that spirit of understanding. The scriptures say, if you believe in what I say, then verily you are my disciples. So we believe in everything that the scriptures say. And we understand that these things will happen. Which is why we come out and warn the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans about Jacob's trouble, about great famine that's coming. Martial law, FEMA camps. Multi God has raised up the so called white man to be a hard picture of death in these latter days. Because he knows that he has but a short time to brand you like cattle. So he's going to come down with great wrath. The scriptures say you will be like a madman sparing none. Why? Because he knows he has a short time to rule on planet Earth. He knows that he is not growing like these other nations. His birth rate is getting lower and lower. Why? Because the Most High God has cursed him for shedding the blood of the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans. So the majority of our people will take the RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast. In the midst of World War III, you will have America Babylon the Great being burnt up by CBM missiles. So no, we're not prophesying peace. And yet we're telling you about war, destruction, like one body in Yahweh Shai. They say that's all we talk about. That's what the Holy Bible is about. The prophecies that would happen in the latter days. Second, Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 8. And then shall that wicked be revealed, who the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. So who is the wicked, the Edomites, the so-called white man, through his unrighteous decrees, through his agendas, through his media, his propaganda, he's setting up the stage for Armageddon. The RFID chip. And we're revealing the wicked. The Most High God has always raised up prophets, apostles, servants to, to speak His will into existence. This is what we're out here doing today. Prophesying unto our people. So this is not about all nations of the earth. The Most High God is going to destroy many in Armageddon. The scriptures say in the book of Armageddon, that the blood went up to the to to many and many uh, heights, up to the up to the uh, about eight feet. If you read about that, Chapter 4, verse 21. Yahweh Shai saith unto her, Woman, believe me, the hour cometh, we shall neither in this mount, nor yet in Jerusalem worship the Father. Why? Because 
You had to have the Israelites scattered throughout the whole earth. You had to have the Ten Law Shrugs, which is the southern, the northern kingdom, the so-called Hispanics, come to the Americas. You had to have Deuteronomy 28 and 68 come to pass. Scriptures say that you will be sold for bond men and his bond women, and no man would buy you. This is what happened to the southern kingdom in the West, in the, in the West for the West Indians, African Americans. Asians, Dominicans, and the transatlantic slave trade. These are the four remaining tribes that were in Jerusalem. And now you have a gathering together of the nation of Israel. But the scriptures say that many will follow after their own promiscuous ways and cleave unto the so called white man. Most High God is going to destroy them because they choose to mock and scoff and scorn at the Most High God and His Word and His servants, the prophets, in these latter days. John chapter 4, verse 22. You worship, you know not what. We know what we worship. For salvation is of the Jews. The Jews are Israelites. Jew comes from Judah. One tribe of the nation of Israel. So Yahweh Shai Mashiach, we call Jesus Christ. He spoke to the Samaritan woman. He said, you know not what you worship. He said, this is not for you. Jeremiah, chapter 12, verse 9. My heritage is unto me as a speckled bird, and the birds round about are against her. Come ye, assemble all the beasts of the field, come to devour. So Jeremiah 12 and 9 says that his heritage is unto him as a speckled bird. So we look, some of us look like so called white people, some of us look like Chinese. Like Arabs, like so called Africans, but they're Israelites. So the Most High God has put a reprobate spirit on the majority of our people. They've been pressured by their own peers to forsake the fountains of living water. And that's all part of the so called white man system. That's all part of his plan to have you follow after many people to your own. Destruction. And this is what the so called white man wants. He wants you to, to let go of the reward that you have in the world to come, which will be the kingdom of heaven here on planet earth. So our people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. They don't understand the holy scriptures. Some of these other camps, they, th they say, that all, all so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans are going to look the same. But we're not prophesying that. We're telling you, according to the Bible, the Holy Bible, what it says. It says that we have mingled ourselves amongst the people. So our people have been deceived into giving up that reward, that good heritage that they have. Why? Because they desire the things of this world. They do not understand when we speak unto them of heavenly things. Matthew chapter 15, verse 21. Then Yahweh Shai went thence, departed to the coast. Of Tyre and Zidon. This was in the ancient Roman Empire. Tyre and Zidon was the land of the Hamites, so called Africans. So a woman came up to Yahushai Mashiach, a Syrophoenician, but she was an Israelite, but she looked like another nation. So this is what 
we prophesy unto our people, show you the various examples of the Holy Bible. So our people do not understand because they do not read. They do not draw out the waters of salvation. They do not seek this word nor delight in the Lord's statutes and commandments of the Most High God. Which is why they have no understanding. They're going to be caught up in Armageddon. They're going to take the RFID chip. They're going to be destroyed in the midst of World War III. FEMA camps, martial law. Why? Because they did not seek the Most High God. Why still may be found? Matthew 15, 22. And behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the same coast, cried unto him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. My daughter is grievously vexed with a devil. So this was a woman of Canaan. She looked like a so-called Canaanite, but she was an Israelite. So our people don't understand. What's up? Cain and David. No, that's not what it's talking about, no, bro. No, I was saying, from Cain and Abel. Yeah, you said Cain and Abel. That's not what I'm talking about. Oh, Just give okay. me a second, brother. Okay. Matthew 15, 22. Behold, a woman, Cain, came out of the same coast, crying unto him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. My daughter is grievously vexed with the devil. So this was a Syrophoenician by nature. So you read about that in the Holy Bible. Israelites dwelling in various regions of the earth. So the Samaritan woman was not was denied by Yahushua Mashiach, but he healed this woman's daughter. Why? Because she was an Israelite. Like scriptures say, my heritage is unto me as a speckled bird. The scriptures say in the book of Hosea that Ephraim, which is a so-called Northern Kingdom, the ten lost tribes, they have mingled themselves. They're like a cake unturned. So they look like so called white people. They look like so called Chinese. Which is why you have to try the spirit by the spirit. This is Jeremiah chapter 11 and verse 16. Lord, call thy name a green olive tree, fair and of goodly fruit, with the noise of great tumult, as he kindled fire upon it, and the branches of it are broken. So the Most High God called his people a goodly tree, but we have been dispersed in various parts of the earth. So the so-called white man likes to promote this kind of division, as well as these other nations. Come out to bring it just confusion. We're not out here to bring confusion unto our people. We're showing you precept upon precept, line upon line, here a little, there a little. Whether you like it, believe it or not. This isn't about this isn't about being man pleasers. We're warning you about what's coming. Destruction, World War Three, Armageddon. This is what's coming upon America, Babylon the Great. Well, no, I misunderstood what you were saying when I heard you when I came up. Well, yeah, you you're talking about? Yeah, I'm familiar. Jeremiah 13, 23. Can the Ethiopian change his skin or the leopard his spots? Then may you also do good that are accustomed to do evil. So our people are accustomed to do evil, destroy for lack of knowledge. So it's not about the carnal of um, how people look. This is about the spirit. This is about if they speak, thus saith the Holy Bible. The scriptures say they speak not according to this word. But it's because there is no light in them. Could you see how I look? How would you judge me? Give me a second, brother. I gotta finish with it. Second Timothy chapter 2, verse 19. 